from World of Concrete 2018 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. With me now is uh, Kyle Rubin, who's Director of Sales with Pettibone. How are you? We're great. Thanks. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Appreciate that. Glad you could take some time to get out of that booth for a yeah, while. We're, well, it's been busy, so I'm glad I could take some time as well. Yeah. Well, tell us about what you brought to the show this year. I understand you got an exciting piece of equipment on the floor. We do, yeah, we're excited to, we're launching a next generation of telehandler for, for Pettibone. We've been in the business for a long time, but uh, this is uh, marking kind of a new era for us. Um, we brought two telehandlers with us here to, okay. to the show, and um, one of them is a, uh, well, they're both kind of the same class, a 9,000 pound machine. That, wow, we're talking good size. Yeah, decent size, that extends 44 feet in the air. Um, and the difference between the two is a little unique. We've got one that actually has a traversing or sliding carriage. So, um, you know, it's something that the market's missed for a few years, uh, three or four years, and, and we're, we're bringing it back, so. Tell me a little bit about this sliding carriage idea. Give me an idea of what it does exactly and how do you achieve that? Yeah, well, I mean, technically speaking, the idea is that uh, when a boom is 44 feet in the air in this case, if that carriage was fixed, you would actually lose a few feet of landing height. So right. if it's 44 feet in the air, you might be able to land a load at 41 feet. Uh, but with the sliding carriage, you can actually traverse it forward uh, up to 70 inches, and, and uh, that allows you to land the load at, at 44 feet. So That, it, that it took helps. some engineering, did it not? It did, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We've been at it for a, a while now, and uh, you know we're lucky to have a good, strong crew of people. Uh, many, many of us have many decades of experience, so uh, that helped us uh, bring back the Traverse unit in a, in a, in a good and kind of unique and, and positive way that's going to address a, a, an open part of the market that really needs some help right now. Do you find it that, that uh, you know, not only extended reaches, but, but the reaches that are commonly used today are getting higher and higher yeah. from what they were? Absolutely, and that's one of the reasons we decided to bring back this product. Uh, because we're finding that, that some contractors are having to, uh, to use larger machines that maybe that go to 56 foot to land a fourth floor building. And with the traversing carriage, you, you don't need that extra lift height. Um, so it saves the, a, a little bit of uh, height and probably some cost. Um, you know, if you go with a, a sliding or traversing carriage that can land at a fourth floor with a 44 foot boom rather than a 56 or 57 foot boom. What does that do, just off for the sake of discussion, what does that do to the footprint on the ground for that piece of machinery? Well, the nice thing about it is you can pull up to a building, uh, place the machine in park, and, and traverse the carriage forward rather than moving the machine. So obviously you can, can use a smaller machine that's not moving around as much. It makes it safer. Uh, that's probably the biggest piece of it, but it also makes it a little more convenient. So it helps quite a bit. Does it change the capacity of the lift too? Is that is that all relative to the, you know, to the height and everything? Yeah, of course. Yeah, as a, as a carriage traverses forward, you do lose a little capacity, um, but that I guess wouldn't be any different. That's not than, a big deal. Well, it, it's no different than reaching the boom out further, right? Right. So right. Right. You've always got those particular things that you have to be concerned about. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you're exactly right. So. Um, I, I think the biggest thing is it's, it's a much safer approach to, for a lot of folks, and in particular the Mason market. Um, you know, they've used uh, uh, traversing machines for a long time, and, and they've been without a product for three or four years, so uh, it's time to bring it back. Is this your prime interested. market now? Is this what you're aimed at? Yeah, we, we need to address the, the Mason market first. Um, they're the ones that have really been asking for it, and, and, uh, and there's a lot of pent-up demand right now, so we'll address that first. So is, is there, again, for sake of discussion, is there a lot of difference between the Mason market and those that are pouring on site? Yes, uh, as far as we can tell, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Mason market, they really want to lift that block up to a third or fourth right, story. And right, right. That's, that's when they really need a machine like this to safely do that process. Well, otherwise, I don't know how they get their materials up there. Um, hopefully, uh, ho hopefully, they're finding a safe way to do it, but I think they're missing this traversing carriage machine right now. Really? Yeah. So it's on the market, you got it at the show? Got it at the show, uh, um, we'll, we'll release it here in May, June, July time Oh, it's frame. not on the market yet, I mean it's just coming out, it's brand new. We're, it's brand new, we, we're, we've got the first couple machines that we've built here at the show and, and uh, we're, we're starting to ramp up production as we speak. 
and uh, you know, parts on order. We're ready to go. Just pending some engineering testing, we'll be we'll be we'll be prepped here pretty quick. Wow! So wow! Yeah, it's so exciting. this is a big unveil for you. It is. This is the big unveil. We had a good press conference the other day to to launch the machine officially. And uh, yeah, we, we're, we're excited. I don't think we're going to be able to build them fast enough for the really? demand right now. Well, so. that's what you're aiming for, isn't it? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's the whole idea. <laughs> Kyle Rubin is Director of Marketing with Pettibone. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you bringing your message yeah, to us we, and all the folks out there viewing it. Certainly stop by and see all the folks at Pettibone at their booth here at the show. And if not, Pettibone.com. Uh, GoPettyBone.com. That'll get you there. That's right. Okay, very good. All right, thanks. All that and more from World of Concrete 2018.